Okay, um, and let's switch it up to some of the actual cricket coaching you're doing, not just the um, holistic stuff. Uh, you, um, you, you coach a lot of process. Is there a particular way that you go about doing that? Well, I try and break training up. Something I've learned over the last few years, and this is through my good mate Chris Rogers. He's taught me a lot from all the learnings he's had as a player and now as a coach at a high level. Um, try and break sessions up into either learning zone or performance zone. So we're either we're either grooving technique and learning and trying new things and exploring and um, innovating, um, or we're trying to park all that and just compete and we're in the performance zone. And then that's where we focus on our process, our routines, our real competition. How do we want to compete and how do we train the competition? So that's sort of what I do. And, and the learning zone is where we're really, we're more curious when we're, we're making more mistakes. We're, we're in the conscious mind more than the subconscious mind. Um, and then the performance zone is where we're like, there's a little bit of reflection, but then it's, yeah, let's train the reflection, the relaxation, the refocusing, and then let's just watch the ball and compete and let's really try and nail our process. And then let's go back and work hard on the things we need to keep working hard on in the technique and talk about the tactics and talk about things in the learning zone. The performance zone is more letting them be. I throw balls at them try and like really make it like as game like as I can. And then every now and again, we might have a chat or I might suggest a few things, but I'm doing far less coaching in that and letting them work things out. I might just have, I might know their triggers or their cues and I'll just remind them of them um, physically or mentally. And then they'll, and then just let them be and let them try and really work through it and problem solve themselves. Whereas the learning zones where maybe I'm coaching more and I'm prompting the conversation more, et cetera.